welcome back to the Panic Room, everyone, and to another tag video today. So guys, I don't think I was tagged in this. <laughs> this is Gareth's original tag over at Book Songs and Other Magic, and I don't think he tagged me, but I was like, what the hell, we're gonna do it, because I don't really care if you tag me if I want to do it, I'll do it. Um, so, this is the Relationship with Books tag. Yeah, the Relationship Book tag. I have his video pulled up. And yeah, I just thought it was cute. So let's do it. It's not often you get like a romance kind of thing from me. So something different. Problem number one, what book or books have you had the longest? This is embarrassing. Probably my Animorphs collection. Yeah, I have an Animorphs collection. I have all of them, all the original covers, all of the special editions, everything. I was obsessed as a child. From the ages of like, I think eight to 11, eight to 12, something like that. I was obsessed. That was the bee's knees for me when it came to books. So probably those. Problem number two, what authors have you had a close relationship with that you're still reading today? Not many. I mean, I picked up a King book like a year ago and I've been reading King for a long time. Um, things like Edgar Allan Poe, stuff like that. But yeah, I don't guess I've kept up with a lot of those relationships. But see, see, let me let me defend that though, because I do read a lot of new stuff and I don't reread very often. So that's probably why. Maybe that's a cop out, but who cares, right? Problem number three, what new author did you start a relationship with recently? Um, a lot. <laughs> but I'm gonna go with Richard Lehman because I recently read my very first book by him. And that was an experience. I also have a number of like first time reading videos on my channel, which I guess could answer this prompt as well. The one that jumps to mind was also Aaron Beauregard, Poppy Z. Bright was another one. So yeah, I've had a few like new relationships with authors. So prompt number four, name a book or books that you would say influenced your formative years. Animorphs, <laughs> uh, Anne Rice. I read a lot of Anne Rice. I read some Tolkien here and there. Uh, let's see, some C.S. Lewis. I think it was, was it Redwall with the little rodents, like the little creatures? I, I'll pop a picture up here if I can find it. I've read some of those books too. So you see, I have that element of fantasy flowing through me. Um, and I read, you know, a lot of comic books, like horror comics, things like that. So yeah, I guess that would be what made up a large majority of my formative years. Number five, name a two character relationship in a book that is central to the narrative of the book. Um, I'm gonna go with Earthlings. There's um, some relationship there that I think is very central to the book. You know, uh, kind of not in your face romance kind of deal, but I liked it. I like the dynamic between the two of the main characters. So, Earthlings. Number six, name a book that has a great depiction of family. Theme music. It's a great depiction of family. Lots of, lots of togetherness. I'm lying. Number seven, name a book that features a love or obsession with a different art form as part of its story. Okay, I've got this. Boy Parts. Just, just read it. It's, it's so good. I feel like it fits this prompt better than most any other of my answers for any other prompt ever. There's an obsessive quality to it. There's like, not really love. It's like a messed up type of love, I guess. Kinda. Anyway, boy parts. It fits it. It just fits it. When I read this, I was like, <gasps> and number eight is tax and people. No, I wasn't even tagged to do this. I just wanted to do it because I thought it was a cute tag. And I like Gareth and I wanted to support his original tag. So here we go. So that was the relationships book tag. And it was from Gareth over at Book Songs and Other Magic. Of course, I will have him linked down below. You guys should check him out. And you guys know it's open. If you want to do it, do it. It's fine. Obviously, you know, I'm not your girl when it comes to cutesy romances, so if I can do it, I know you can. Anyway, <laughs> thank you guys for hanging out here for another tag video. And of course, if you like this, please hit like and subscribe. It would really help me out. And until next time, bye for now.